Hello YouTubers. In this video I will talk about for loop. Please do not forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel. What is for loop and how it works? Well, it is a control flow statement for specifying iteration. In the other words, for loop will execute some code until a certain condition is satisfied. For loops consist of header and body. In the header part iteration is defined and in the body, code is executed once per each iteration. Let's make a simple project in TIA portal with one comfort panel. I have one already. Add a new VB function. Leave its type as sub. At the right side of the TIA portal you can find instructions with some code templates. Find the for to instruction, click on it and drag and drop it onto the code page. On the code page you can see for loop template. You need to adjust it to your needs. First you need to declare counter variable. Let's do that. The counter variable name is i. Mark counter code part and replace it with newly created variable i. Now you need to assign two values, start count and end count. Let's start from 0 and end at 9. Now we need to execute some code inside the loop. Let's create one more variable. Let it be j. By default its start value will be 0 if you will not assign any other one. Inside the loop let's add value of i to it. On each step, the value of the variable j will be incremented by the value of variable i. Let's add internal tag of type of integer where we gonna store the value of variable j. Get back to your VB function and assign value of variable J to that tag. Open new screen, put IO field onto it. Assign our tag to the IO field so we could monitor its value. Next let's add a button. And start our script on its onClick event. It is time to test the application. As you can see, script loops from 0 to 9 by adding all the numbers. Let's upgrade our script a little bit so, that every step of the loop will be represented. Switch to the screen and add text object onto it. Adjust it so that multiple lines could be added.
switch to the VB function. To access object, a new variable needs to be added. After adding variable, set it as text field object. Let's adjust for loop so, that every single step will be printed. When all is done, our object needs to be released to avoid memory leak. Let's test the application. So, as you can see, on click of the button the VB function was executed and as the result, besides the value of variable J, each step of the loop has been printed out. Let's upgrade loop more. I am going to write a script, that will change the color of some objects on the screen. Switch to the screen and add some circle objects. Name them as C1, C2, and so on. Add two buttons. One is green, another one is yellow. Green button will change the color of the circles to green, and yellow button will change the color of the circles to yellow. Create new VB function and leave it as sub. Add parameters for RGB color code.
declare variable i for loop counter and another variable for screen object set object variable as screen where your circle objects are placed Now let's write a loop that changes background color of screen objects. When all is done, release the object variable to avoid the memory leak. Switch to the screen, select green button and execute VB script on click event. Assign values for RGB color code as follows. Do the same for yellow button. Let's test the application. As you can see, by clicking green button, VB script loops through the circle objects of the screen and changes the background color of them to the green. Same is with yellow button. Let's upgrade our script even more. I will add all the objects to the array, and loop through it. Let's change the type object variable to the array type. Now let's add objects to our array. After that, loop through the array and change the background color of each array member. Also, do not forget to release the object variable to avoid memory leak. Let's try the application. As you can see, application works as expected, color of the objects, that are added to the array changes according the click button. And that is not all yet. Let's use for loop to add the object to the array. I will slightly adjust my code to achieve that. I am about to add additional for loop that adds circle objects to the array. All is done, let's test the application. As you can see, application works as expected. At first, all circle objects are added to the array by the help of the first for loop. Then, by the help of the second for loop background color of the circle objects that are in the array is changed and last what about leaving the loop unconditionally well that is possible let's add one more button that changes color of one circle to blue to change the color I will write a simple VB script Now, let's add some code, that forces to exit for loop unconditionally to the main VB function. 
Here, I will check if the color of the circle is blue. If condition is fulfilled, then I will exit the for loop. Let's test the application. First, I will change the color of one circle to blue. Next, if I click green or yellow button, only color circles, that are before blue one, is changed. It means, that for loop has been exited each time the condition of blue color is met. That is all that I wanted to show you today. If you find this video useful please do not forget to like it and subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching and happy coding.